Hello there! Today we're taking a quick look at Blink Twice, directed by Zoe Kravitz and starring Naomi Aki and Channing Tatum. Aki plays nail artist and cocktail waitress Frida, and she and her best friend are inexplicably invited to the private island of tech mogul Slater King, played by Tatum. King used to be the CEO of a major tech company, but stepped down due to some unspecified shitty behavior. Supposedly, he has retreated to this private island to reflect on his past behavior and try to become a better person. And at first, Frida and the other guests on the island are having the time of their lives, chilling by the pool, eating amazing food, and partaking in various substances. But over time, Frida starts to suspect things on the island are not as they seem. This is Zoe Kravitz's directorial debut, and as the trigger warning before the movie indicates, this is a story about sexual violence and the revenge that comes after that sexual violence. And I questioned whether she had the maturity to tackle such a subject, considering the movie's original title was Pussy Island. I wish I was kidding. I really do not know what the fuck Zoe was thinking. How are you supposed to tell a serious story about sexual assault when the title of your movie makes it sound like a porno? Thankfully, multiple people were able to convince her that that would be a bad idea and the title was changed, though I'm still amazed that they had to do that in the first place. Despite my reservations, I gave the movie a watch, and it is actually pretty decent, although it does have some issues. I really liked Aki as Frida. I have not seen much of her work before this, but she is super talented. This character goes through a wide range of emotion. When she first comes to the island, she's in paradise. But then she starts to get suspicious of everyone and has to go through the frustration of being gaslit by almost everyone else on the damn island. One of the other island guests she interacts with quite a bit is played by Adria Arjona, and contrary to what Morbius would have you believe, she can actually act. She was pretty good in this. And I was blown away by Channing Tatum's performance. I am so not used to seeing him play the villain, but he does it very well. And despite my initial misgivings, I thought the movie handled the topic of sexual assault pretty well overall. It's shown on camera sparingly, and it never really got to the point where it felt gratuitous. They spent a lot more time on the violent revenge, which was very satisfying. There were a few things that kept it from being great. For starters, I wasn't really sure what the deal was with Gina Davis' character. I suppose she's supposed to be Slater King's personal assistant, but they seem to be much closer than an employee would typically be to her boss. For a while, I figured they had to be related somehow, but the movie never really says one way or the other. Also, Slater King and his douchebag entourage control these women using some sort of substance that causes amnesia. That way, they wake up the next morning not remembering that they had been sexually assaulted the night before. But they seem to have a whole lot of control over what specific memories they can block out. And I had a little trouble buying that. I didn't really understand how that worked. And without spoiling anything, there is a big reveal that comes into play around the same time that the violent revenge kicks into gear. And it just felt unnecessary. I don't think it added anything to the story at all. It just, it felt like a twist for the sake of having a twist. Also... I really was not buying the ending. After everything Frida and the other women on that island just went through, what she chooses to do at the very end, I just, I think I left the theater just muttering to myself over and over, really? She, really? Y yeah, I don't buy it. Like I said, this is a decent movie, especially considering it's Kravitz's first time in the director's chair, I thought she did a good job. She clearly has some maturing to do, as the movie's original title would indicate, but the potential is there, and it certainly helped that she had a good cast to work with. If you wish to avoid depictions of sexual assault on the big screen, which is totally understandable, you are definitely going to want to give this one a pass. But otherwise, I wouldn't say this is necessarily worth seeing on the big screen, but I can recommend it as a rental. And that's all I have to say about Blink Twice. Till next time, take care.